this episode, we film a movie adaptation, The Two Musketeers in Genshin. These are the first two scenes. How about here? Uh, a little more to the left. You got it. Hey, Yaimia, do you need a hand? No, no, I'm fine. You know, doing the light, I heard that the Traveler will be operating the camera. Really? Is that because it... Well, sure, there's that. But I just think that after all your journeys together, you two must have developed a super close bond. And just... Oh, I see. <laughs> Yaimia, we need lights over there, too. I've got to get back to work. Chat with you later. Seems like Yamiya's really getting into it. But she was right. We do have a super... Ayaka has mentioned you to me before. No talking. I'm thinking about- Ah, yes. To help me- To achieve a more... young- uh, Are you saying the wrinkles around my eyes are too deep? You just have too much of a... calculating look in your eyes. <laughs> you sure don't mince your words. Quiet. So, this is a re No, it's just a prop weapon. Not bad. Have you seen a real musket before? Only in books and newspapers. I made this one based on the relative shape and proportions I saw in reference images. When we're filming, some special gunpowder will be applied around the muzzle, which will help create the flash and smoke effects of a real gun being fired. Which means it'll be up to the actors to portray the recoil. <laughs> That's right. The sound effects for gunshots will also be added in post-production. Thank you, Veronique. I think I know where to start now. However, the musket's gears and firing pin could still use some work, adding some wear on them. Also, be sure to rub the muskets with some oil each time before we start shooting. That'll give the impression that- Good point. You seem to know a lot, Miss Chevres. I assume you- Yes, I perform routine maintenance on my weapons every day. Just like we as people need to eat and sleep, Muskets. I also perform similar care for my sword every day, and familiarize myself with the chick. Yes, this way, our weapon. Yes, well said. It oh, sounds like they found a cup. Though these props differ from the muskets I use, I can still give you some good. I look forward. First and foremost, never point the weapon at anyone, regardless of whether it's a real or prop weapon or- Okay, understood. When aiming the musket, extend your arm so that it's level with your shoulder, and use your eye to- Like this? Not bad. Now, try- <clears throat> This is the end of the road for you. Good. Now turn your body a little. That way, you'll give your enemy less of- This is the end of the road for you. Huh. Excuse me, Miss Chiori. Director Farina, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Oh? What is it? Like this? Yes, much better. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I do- I believe it would be most fitting. Well, if you insist. <clears throat> Miss Ayaka! Miss Sh Huh? What's going on? Are we- Let's go see. What is it? I have a question for you, Miss Chevres. Uh, what? To clarify, I would like to turn over my role to Miss Chevres. But, brother- don't worry, Ayaka. I actually view- I was becoming troubled trying to set aside some time to speak to the staff at the Palais Marmonia. Now, I will be able to focus on my work. Bes Are you really sure? From a director's point of view, I also felt like the relationship- The older brother in the story plays the lead role with his overbearing character. But- But- If we were to change the siblings to two sisters of a similar age- then also, I've seen you instructing Ayaka. Of course. Even with all these insights. Uh... Chevrolet mentioned that she really likes the story, right? Paimon bets that she'll take the role. Alright, I'll take the role. Good. It's decided then. 
but we'll also need to make some immediate adjustments. Oh, I have a feeling that our- You're doing a great favor for me, Miss Chevra. Don't mention it. I like this character, so if anything, I should be the- Well, since my brother is the one who brought up the idea- Let's go, Miss Chevras. Please, just call me Chevras. Seems like you're really going out of your way to solve the problem I was having with your makeup. Surely you jest, Chiori. I assure you that I was mu Oh, come on. You really think I'd buy that? According to what I've heard from Ayaka... Perhaps. Ayaka always... But I feel that she needs not only to see other nations, but also to make some different kinds... All right, go on. Spoil her... Ayato! It's too bad you're stepping down from the role. <laughs> <laughs> no need to put... <laughs> it's a little hard for Paimon to imagine... Yes. I've made an appointment to meet some people. Traveler, get the camera ready! Paimon, get the clapperboard! Actors to your positions! <laughs> Go on now. Yep, don't worry! Thank you. Alright, now that we're all here, let me help set the scene for everyone. The first scene takes place when our two main characters are still living at the Baron's estate. They've been ostracized and verbally abused by others in the household, but they still have no idea why. We want to capture how naive and innocent they are, despite their pain. Chevris will be playing the role of the older sister, Tulip, and Ayaka will be the younger sister, Iris. Be sure to get close-ups of the main characters at the right moment. Silence on the set! Lights! Camera! Action! Let's go! Tulip, Mother's been out for quite a while now. Hmm. Perhaps she went to pick some flowers on the way home. You know how she loves flowers. Iris, Tulip, I'm home! Mother! You were out for so long, we were beginning to worry about you. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm back now, safe and sound. Here, I brought your favorite treat, apple turnovers. Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Huh? What bruises? Oh... I must have bumped into something while I was working yesterday. But I didn't notice them this morning. Then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped when I was out just now. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? <sighs> What's the matter, Iris? Well, we've realized that no one really wants to play with us. They even took Iris's doll and spat at us. <sighs> and they even called us names. They said we were... Shh. It's all right. Don't worry. <sighs> Girls, listen to me. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Don't listen to them. No one can define you with such words. You both have wonderful lives ahead of you. Just like your names. You will both blossom like beautiful flowers. Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come yet. But one day, you two will bloom more beautifully than anything else. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty. Understand? <sighs> My dear daughters. And cut! Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. Also... If our clapper loader could avoid shouting at the start of the scene next time. Oh, uh, got it. <sighs> Great. I was a little worried that my nerves would get the better of me. What about you, Chevras? I felt fine. The lines weren't too difficult at all. Seems like Farina must have adapted the role nicely. <laughs> You two were great. I couldn't tell it was your first time acting in a film. You should have more confidence. Thank you for your encouragement. Positions, everyone! We'll move on to the next scene after we try a few more camera angles. This scene 
is when our two characters return home, only to discover their mother has been murdered. Ready? Lights! Camera! Action! Mother, we're back! Mother? <gasps> What's wrong, Tulip? Iris, stay away! Huh? Why? What's... <gasps> Mother! Mother... She's... <laughs> Huh? There's poison in this cup. Huh? I could have sworn I've seen this kind of cup before. <sighs> Those aristocrats. They didn't even try to cover up their actions. <laughs> Iris, we need to leave this place. Leave? But now that Mother is gone, where can we even go? Anywhere. All I know is that we can't stay in this house. <laughs> but... are we just going to let them get away with this? We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just... not right now. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. No, wait. We can't just leave Mother here like this. At least... <clears throat> at least let me leave this rose with her. That's why we went out in the first place. To buy her this flower. All right. Goodbye, Mother. We'll avenge you. Someday. Thanks for watching and see you next time.